everyone. This is Barbara serving as your host today. I'm actually with Pete and Sally today in Tennessee. Um, and uh, Brother Vaughn is here for a presentation, to give you a presentation. We want to welcome you, Brother Vaughn. Okay, thank you. Um, this presentation is about me decoding the moon and eclipse. And there are three total uh, three solar eclipse and three lunar eclipse. This is uh, even the first edition is not done. <laughs> All right. So from the stone tablet to modern King James, with the changes and useful books removed, like the Enoch book, from the title to the last word, Yah, and code the word with numeric patterns, hidden message, apology, proving that it is impossible for human intellect to make this up. And I have an example of uh, carbon, nitrogen, and um, um, did you guys watch it, these numeric stuff before? You know, 888 is like, uh, I think it was like Jesus or something. Um, yeah, and then um, the breath of life, pretty much 7 and 8. And I have the DNA right here, just a real example. And um, how he code the moon the way like he did with his word biology and etc. We will see that the moon cycle and lunar eclipse align with the scripture, with conjunction and much more. The physical proof. The entire eclipse cycle is called Soros, containing 42 solar eclipse, 42 lunar eclipse. <clears throat> Solars, Soros repeat every 223, 223 lunation, or 18 years, 11 days, 8 hours. The moon is all pattern, which means the heaven is for sign, while the moon is for season, appointed time, assembly, and the sun is for days and year. So, like from Genesis 1, 4, 1, 14, uh, let there be light in the firmament and the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let there be for signs and for season, so the uh, constellation first, and then the moon for season, and then the sun for day and year. And here, uh, picture the eclipse, it, it goes in not in a straight pattern like we're taught. It goes a wave and it goes around. It's sort of like a wave. It has a wave to it. <clears throat> so here's um, some introduction for newcomers. Um, sign, season. Season is that time or point in time. This other word of season where it tells you it's a um, assembly. And here's uh, moon. A lot of moon will say, a lot of month will say new moon, a month, etc. Here is a book I found on serving the web, English to Hebrew lexicon from 1877, um, page 114, which is uh, you know, like Genesis 114, just a coincidence, <laughs> 114, and look at this, Muff. Uh, Muff is written the same way as moon. The day of the new moon is written the same. Uh, Muff and moon is written the same, and new, new moon is also written the same. Muff, day of new moon, new moon. But full moon is written different, and we'll talk about full moon, and there's so much about full moon. I don't think I have enough time. <laughs> and then uh, phase cover, I use uh, start date and date and time. Dot com. Both. Well, I use uh, date and time a lot more. They have pretty much everything I need. And... Um, it can go back to 1900, but we don't, really don't need to go back that far because the the moon repeats, you know, it's just a pattern. And then the wrong way to count this is 
using the Obstacle Gary counter and going through the you know the traditional way of counting through the counter. Um, 2010, for example, scrolling through Eclipse to Eclipse, so like the Eclipse on uh, New Moon and then Eclipse on you know middle of the month in the Gregorian calendar, it's a lot harder. And <clears throat> the Gregorian calendar has like two new moon in in um, lun one lun uh, one month in the Gregorian month, so it's tricky. So the best way with the lunation calendar, I call it lunation calendar. The website call it a moon phase calendar, and <clears throat> With the Eclipse list, we can now pull numbers, patterns, and check with scriptures. We will understand why Team Serpent removed the Fourth Commandment and hoaxed the moon landing, space travel, and create so many conspiracy about the moon for distraction and decoy. Physical stats pull from timeanddate.com. Each row is a donation. So, for example, 10... 77, that's a one lunation, that's one moon month. That consists of five point of time, that is one new moon, these day and four, seven. Consider the last column as a placeholder for the fourth Sabbath. So the last column on the website, you'll see a uh, duration, but you know, they are 29. And I have about I have, and then <clears throat> let's take back the rainbow from fly and the vet goat, multiple color for better distinction. So I use the color for visual learner. You can kind of oh, it doesn't match with the uh, this first photo I made, but the next one will. Um, telling the point of time from. January 15 to um, point in time, January 15, a solar eclipse to June 26, a full moon. Uh, wait, yeah, if we're at June 26, a full moon lunar eclipse, we get 28 point in time, 28, um, you know, worship days or feast, uh, yeah, new moon and Sabbath. So we're all funny. Uh, the two short span eclipse to eclipse are four count and three count appointed time. Assembly, another word. <clears throat> count for partial and per number eclipse. Um, kind of like a partial, partial and per number, just like partial, double partial. Um, and seven count for solar to solar and lunar to lunar eclipse. A brief overview, we check with scripture. This is like very brief. So three is the number of hour darkness. Um, we'll get more into like darkness. It's part of this whole thing. <laughs> and yeah, feet are in three months and many three day verses. But let's decode the three days surrounding full moon lunar eclipse. Oh, this is a big topic. Get on to that later. Uh, number four, from the first work day to the, oh wait, it is, yeah. So he got the uh, four count uh, starting from June 5th, one, two, three, four. So we end at June 22nd, the eclipse. So that's, and then three, I count three of the, from the eclipse to the uh, lunar eclipse, from solar to lunar, three count. Mm, this number will repeat so many times. <laughs> and four, uh, four from the first day of work to the fourth Sabbath of the month is the time span of 28. Remember that number, 28? Yep, they will show up. Uh, so we got that 28 which is four by seven, there's that seven again, up to four season um, in a year. So that's four 
see the new year and four is the middle of the week include um it's in the middle of the creation week that will play a big role later um for solar to solar we're mostly oh here's uh 28 forget to click 28 um i count from june 21st uh, solar eclipse and then just keep count you can just multiply from the uh, lunation each lunation is five so as you count down one two three four five so multiply five by five is 25 and then you got the remaining three so that makes 28 so that three will end up to a the next eclipse so from one eclipse to the next eclipse uh solar to a uh, lunar uh, 28 that number 28 and um seven and six um from solar to solar we're mostly in seven new moon span from lunar to lunar because we're mostly in seven full moon span i call it span i don't know what you want to call it including the from and the to in the count it's in from one new moon to another new moon and from one sabbath to another sabbath so you see how it lined up to me i think it lined up but yeah i see how it lined up from new moon to new moon that seven count from full moon to full moon uh i mean um lunar lunar eclipse to lunar eclipse it's seven count same with solar eclipse and seven count it goes down and just like the verse say from new moon which is also a solar eclipse to another new moon and then from sabbath to another sabbath which is also within the lunar eclipse and we will see why it's a um, three day off uh, not three day off but just a three day range for the lunar eclipse to fall in in line with the sabbath it's like there's a three-day tolerance and that number three it will play a role <laughs> these number they they all play a role um in scripture and um next page oh okay so when i put it all together it looks busy but when you just look at one number it's a lot easier to understand Okay, so mostly seven. This uh, this page is un unfinished. Um, so July twenty second, nineteen ninety. This thing just random years I pick. Um, to nineteen ninety one, June sixteen. There it is seven new moon feast, and I can show you when I go to the website. Let me show you. Right here. Oh, 20, I put in dark mode just to match the theme. Yeah, I like this. I, I use dark mode to match the theme. But I'm going to leave it off. Um, so, so July 22nd, so you got, I got one, two, three. Wait, was it July 22nd? Oh, no. July. Oh, yeah, July 22nd, January 16th. All right, 22nd. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at December, and that's six. And then um, the next, the next one over is 1991. Um, Right there. Uh, six is right here. The uh, lunation eight forty one, and then seven July sixteen. Make sure that was eight forty one. Yep. yep. So there, there's that seven seven count new moon piece. Um, and then of course it just gets gone and then gone and gone year through year. And then there's this break where there's six full moon. Um, 
but but then mostly seven to the, the the lunar eclipse is seven and seven and just keep going and there's a break of like six sometimes there's a break of six on the lunar side where the the eclipse is not really eclipse it's like a partial so it gets like a six um these are partial too so it gets a six and sometimes it gets a seven but sometimes uh, sometimes it gets a six but a lot of time it's seven i see seven more when i when i count this so it just make me make me wonder like why there's so many sevens <laughs> and then you know i start looking at uh, this is what this was early in my research <clears throat> and then this four three but you see that seven is dominant that number of completion of seven from year to year so here's another example of 2003 recently and from October 25th, 2022 to October 20th, is at seven. So the dash, dash, yellow dash line means seven. Um, the orange one means seven for the moon eclipse, and the yellow is for seven uh, solar eclipse. And the green line is that number 28 point in time, which is, you know, the day for the last seven. And then three appointed towns from the shortest distance from one eclipse to eclipse. That's three. And then just the four, those numbers play a role later. So six days shall work be done, but the seventh day shall be you ah, be to you a holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Elohim. And... <clears throat> I'm not. I'm new to using the um, was it Elohim, Yahusha, and so I might put it wrong. You can correct me later. <laughs> um, so sorrows contain 42 solar eclipse and 42 lunar eclipse, which is seven times six, and you know uh, we get that number seven, and we get six. He just number a lot, but seven a lot, but six kind of play a role. <clears throat> okay, so I think this is my last page. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so sorrow repeat every, yeah, I just mentioned this. And then sorrow is 223 lunation, which is, um, so from, I get this number again from time and date. So let's say 2019, 2019. I just proving my work. I showing proof. I'm not picking this stuff up. So here, 2019. What's that number again? Uh, 20. Oh, July 2nd. July 2nd. So here, I got July 2nd. See? And then, uh, yeah, you get the point. Anyway, so it contains seven different count zero to equal fourteen total. This this whole list is total solar eclipse. So you know, um, the eclipse that looks um, where's that first page? Yeah. This one, the total, the one that you guys saw on April 8th. And um, so here I charted out all the total solar eclipse from, I I didn't get to finish, but uh, yeah, from 1985 to 2028. So I color-coded it because, you know, visual learners, it a lot easier to see. You can tell that there are only seven different set of number, or let's see, um, no, um, not seven different number, but seven. Um, it takes seven, seven count of total solar eclipse to get that mural stage. So see, twenty-three, eighteen, twelve, seventeen, twenty-two. 29, 12, 
uh, those were the number I count of from counting, remember how I count um, the number of appointed time? Well, this is the number of new moon because you got to count the number of new moon to get to the number of total solar eclipse because each total solar eclipse is a new moon. So I count the new moon. And when I count the new moon, I get number 23, count 18, 12, 17, 22, 29, and then 12 again. But this 12 is different from the other 12. Uh, for those on the phone, um, there are two different 12. Uh, you have to look at it to see the mirror because I, the way the moon works, I guess, there's one side and there's the other side when it goes around the earth. Uh, there's two sides. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, I'm assuming. I'm not guessing, guessing that part. But uh, yeah, 23 all the way to 12. Get that seven count. So I count seven count of total solar eclipse. And then from, from that seven count, it mirrors, it goes backward from 12 to 23. Um, there's a, for those on the phone, there's a number of 29 new moon count within, between, right between the 12. But um, that doesn't matter. It's color coded. It's, you can see the mirror. Um, so, and then from 23 to 12, you also see the mirror, how it just, so, it might be an indicator that it's a starting point or not a starting point. I'm not sure. Um, I had to look more into this. Um, I'm trying to find a starting point because once I find a starting point of a sorrows or like a starting point, I can figure out the last thing I'm trying to figure out. The 50 year jubilee. I'm, I'm almost down to it. I, I got it already. It's there but I just got to find a starting point. <laughs> um, so yeah, the moon not only fit, it fit way more than than I expected. It also fit Jubilee, land rest, and then I believe it fit 50 because um, I don't have, I don't have it, I don't have it written out yet um, on a fly yet, but we'll get to it later. It's, we don't have to worry about that right now. <laughs> but yeah, there are so many, so many sevens. Um, you can't deny that it is by design, like from solar to solar eclipse seven, and then from lunar to lunar, and then the, you know, Isaiah sixty-six twenty-three. It's it's just like what it said, from one new moon to another, which are eclipse, from one Sabbath to another, which are lunar eclipse. You can't deny this. This is designed. Even atheists, even my atheist friend can't deny this. Um, <clears throat> so there, physical proof. Okay. Okay, thank you. And to get more information about the moon and the sun and all those cycles and the calendar in the heavens, uh, please go to our website, lunarsabbathday.com. And thank you, Brother Vaughn. Bye.